Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update on my RC sled. Um, as you can probably see, I got my front shocks mounted, both sort of mounted. They are from a slash 4x4, and um, they're shorter than the ones I, I was going to use, because the reason being is the longer ones, when these arms are fully down, they were like still a lot longer than the top of the nun so I was like whatever and then I found these laying around I'm like hmm maybe these will work and they seem to do a lot better and I just like the color of the shaft and they're threaded so they're a lot, a lot better quality I think um the AR ARMs I tapped them they're screwed, it, screwed on um the holes I drilled for the bolts they were too small for the bolt just to slide through so I, I tapped the hole as well so like I don't even know if I'll have to put a spacer between this A arm and the front mount here because it's not moving, which is pretty good. Um, so you can see I um, took the old bearing carrier off my old chassis, and like I said in one of my videos, I was gonna clean it up a little bit and make it look more appealing. But uh, it's pretty hidden right now. I, I might go in there and squirt, like, trim off the edges here so it looks a bit better. Um, I got my pulley on. It's gonna be something like that. Drive axle. It looks, it looks like it's on an angle. It it slightly is, but um, if you look at the actual chassis, it's pretty straight with the tunnel. It's just, I think this front part's a little bit off, off, on an angle. Look at it this way. Yeah, you can kind of see how it's on an angle. So it's, it kind of throws it off, but it seems okay. Um, on the other side, um, I have the other plastic carrier. This is for the brake, as you can probably remember from the last, last chassis. 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 <laughs> or chassis, however you want to pronounce it, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's what I got going there, um, uh, I haven't done really much with the, I gotta cut a slit here for the disc, because the disc is gonna bottom out onto the plate here, same with the pulley on this side, I had that issue, I had to kind of cut out on the chassis, it was no big deal, um, you're probably wondering, well, snow's gonna hit that, but uh, I'm gonna put a cover on at the bottom and uh, like screw it on or something. But yeah, like front front side is gonna probably sit something like like that. Trying to get an idea. So yeah, it looks pretty. It looks pretty good, I think. It turned out a lot better. One thing I really like is these are kind of vertical. Of course, they're more angled, but let's see how it goes. So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll just grab you the motor. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, pressed the volume button on my iPhone and, and uh, stopped the video. But, um,. Here's the engine. I'm still using this engine. I have to figure out how I'm gonna mount it. It's gonna be something like that. The belt is short, like I said in my last one of my videos. So I'm gonna make a little tension or something for it. Yeah, it's gonna sit like that. Um, I got my carbon fiber solid sheet and I did cut out sliders. I think I want to say they're maybe like two, two millimeters thick, two or three millimeters thick. And so I cut out four, four sliders and two, two for each side. So hopefully they'd be strong enough. Once it, once it has its supports in the middle, kind of like a ladder, should be fairly strong. We'll see how it, see how it does. If not, I might buy some of the thicker fiberglass that they sell there. Cut that out. See, we'll, we'll see what happens. 
So I think the next thing I'm going to do is build the rear suspension, get the track on, put the drive gear on, still have to build the drive gear, so I'll make an update about that, and make this fucking thing a roller. Put the skis on, and it's a roller. And then I'll figure out um, what I'm going to do for mounting wise to put an engine on the chassis. So, and then I'll get the all electrical and gas tank and the, the support frame that goes up and down. And hopefully, I can get this thing going in the next couple of weeks. So, yeah, stay tuned. Alright, bye.